Leak code question 102, binary tree level order traversal. Given the root of a binary tree, return the level order traversal of its nodes values from the left to right level by level. So in the example here, we have a binary tree. So our output needs to include the nodes values level by level. So we've got three here, which is the first level. We've got nine and 20 here, which is the second level. We've got 15 and seven, which is the third level. And as you can see, the output is an array containing three different levels, first, second, and third level. So let's discuss how we'd solve this. So level order traversal will be using a breadth-first search approach. So breadth-first search utilizes a queue data structure. Now a queue data structure just restricts the processing order of an array to first in, first out basis. So we're gonna initialize this queue with the root. So we're gonna pass in three. We're gonna have current. This is just gonna resemble the current node that we're on that we're checking to see if it has children and then we are going to also need a level array which is which is going to store the levels and up here will be the result array so let's walk through this example so we've got root within the queue we need to check its children left and right so we shift from queue so three goes into current we check its children so there's nine and twenty three has been seen so we can add that into level and because we've finished this level and there's no other node at this level we can push three into results and then we move on so everything is reset apart from the queue which contains nine and twenty we shift from the queue so nine goes into current we look at current does it have a left child does it have a right child no nine has now been seen so we can add it into levels and then we move over and check the next value within the queue so nine has been seen, 20, shift from, add it into current, check if it has children. We have 15 and seven. These can be added into the queue. 20 has now been seen, so we can add it into the level. Now there are no more nodes at this level, so we can add this array within two results and then reset level and current. So now we shift from queue, 15, add that into current, check 15 if it has children, it doesn't. So 15 has been seen to, and it can be added into level. Now we move along in queue. We check seven. Seven can be shifted, can be added into current. Check to see whether seven has children. Doesn't, so we can add this into level. Now there are no more nodes at this level, so we can push that level into results. Finally, because everything has been seen to in queue, so queue at this moment in time, will be empty, there'll be nothing in current, and level will also be empty because we pushed it into results. Now that queue is empty, we can pop out of that while loop, and then we can just return results. Time and space complexity, time complexity is ON because we need to visit each individual node, and space complexity is O of N as well because we need to allocate space for the queue. So firstly, we need to carry out a sanity check. So if root is equal to null, then we can return an array let res equal an empty array, let q equal an empty array, and we're going to pass in root. So let's create that while loop. So as long as there is something in q, carry this out, we need to initialize level and level size. We'll call this q.length. And then we need to create the next loop. So while level size is true, carry this out. So we need to grab the current value, which is going to be shifted from Q. We need to check whether current has a left and right child and then push that into Q. So if current dot left is available, Q dot push current dot left, and do the same with right. Now that current has been seen, we can add that into our level array. And we need to add in the value, and then we need to decrement level size so we can escape this while loop. Res.push level array. So once we exit this while loop, we have finished the level, so we need to push into res the array that we have created. And then lastly, we can return res. Run this code.
Okay, we'll submit it. And there you have it.